thinking about life on Mars again, how do you, how do you think about cultural unification, systems of government, uh, rules of law, establishing those uh, very early on? Well, I think I was just declared king of Mars a moment ago. Yeah. Um, I like so, that. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, thank Run. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so the, the, uh, I think most likely the form of government on Mars would be a direct democracy, um, not representative. So it would be people voting directly on, on issues. Um, and I think that's probably better because like, the potential for corruption is substantially diminished in a direct versus a representative democracy. Um, so I think that's probably what will occur. Um, the, I, I think there's some, I think so, I would recommend like some adjustment for the inertia of laws is, would, would be wise in that it should probably be easier to remove a law than create one. Um, I think, you know, this is, I would just be like, let's just, I mean, I think, I think that's probably, probably good because just laws, laws are, have infinite life unless they're taken away. Um, so I think I mean, my recommendation would be like, like something like, let's say, 60% of people need to uh, vote in a law, but at any point greater than 40% of people can remove it. Um, and any law should come with a sunset, with a built-in sunset provision. If it's not good enough to be voted back in, maybe it shouldn't be there. So that's, that's the framework for the government on Mars. I mean, that would be my, those would be my recommendations. The direct, direct democracy where, where it's slightly harder to, in, to, to put laws in place than to take them away and where laws don't just automatically live forever. You'll be a good king. Thank you, <laughs> Elon Musk. Thank you. Thank you.